Yo guys, what is going on? I'm going to bring you guys back another Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire live Wi-Fi battle here today against Jason. I tweeted I was looking for a battle and he's the first to get to me. It's a UU battle here today. I want to try different tiers now. I'm probably going to be doing UU, I mean OU one more time because I don't like commonly doing it. Just to get uh, Mega, what is it? Mega Altaria, which is now BL. And then I got to do it again because Mega Dianch. I want to get all the Megas out of the way. So if you guys are enjoying, uh, if you guys... Let me stop. If it doesn't even start, I can't say if you're enjoying it. If you guys can do me a favor and hit the video thumbs up, let's try and go up the video to 500 likes. We're doing a good job with that. That'll mean a lot to me. Uh, check out the description down below for being a part of the Patreon. I'm going to stream today as well and such like that. Um, also, as well, for the question of the day, you let me know in the comment section down below. Um, you let me know in the comments section down below. Ooh, good question. Good question. Good question. Ah, okay, between Mega Lopini and Mega Gallade, who do you think is stronger between those two fighting types? And they both, their, their Mega items both recently were banned uh, out of UU. Um, so I just want to know what you guys think of that. So let's get this battle starting. My opponent here is going to be bringing quite the bulky UU team. He's got a good wall court of Arcanine and Florgus and to wither down the any no safe switch in for fighting types. He's got himself a nice ass. He's got himself a real nice ass. Um, what is it? A real nice ass Trevenant, which I actually have not seen Trevenant in a long time. It's gonna be the first uh, Yui battle that I've had in like this in almost basically I think this entire year with Trevenant. That's just how much I don't see Trevenant. Like Trevenant never gets the spotlight. I feel bad for him. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lead off on my Mean Shao. My team consists of Mega Swampert, Hydreigon, uh, Fortress Florgus, Walkor. Solvas Raikou, Life Orb Hydreigon, which is mixed, and of course the Mega Swampert. Um, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Not fearing the Scrafty because I do have uh, the what is it? I do have a Scarfed Mean Shao. Ah. All right. So I'm gonna lead off with my socks, the Mean Shao. As my opponent's gonna lead off with Kina. The Arcanine, making a very good play because he actually predicted me to lead off with my Fortress to try and put up my hazards right away. Uh, he's got no one that can spin them, so it actually was a smart idea to do that. But I wanted to keep it around just for a bit, you know? Not, you know, such like that. So what I actually want to do here is swap out into my Swamper, but the thing is, is that Arcanine, this is physically defensive Arcanine, so I know for a fact that he's got the... Yeah. This is risky. This is really, really risky because I don't really have a. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to Swampert regardless. If he does go for the Willow, that's fine. My my Florgus does have Aromatherapy, and Swampert can take a Flare Blitz as well as a Wild Charge and eat up a close combat. So he actually just goes to the E speed, uh, trying to get massive damage off on my. Oh my God! I think he might be Choice Banded. Well, he doesn't really have... Yeah, he does get a free switch that can actually go out to... What I want to do is actually just go for the Ice Punch because... Trevin, <clears throat> let's do that. I'm going to Mega Evolve and go for the Ice Punch. He's going to withdraw, all right? And he's going to go out, which actually ends up being the Trevin. So I did make a good play. I didn't want to I didn't want to go for the safe waterfall there just in case if he stayed in and willowed me. I didn't want to know if he was like Choice Banner or not. But I seem to be Choice Banner damage because he did a lot of damage. It did a lot of damage as I'm smack that ice punch boop, right in the face. Oh my god, guapped! All right, the thing is now, though, is I want to look up real quick to see if Mega Swampert actually outspeeds Trevenant. I do have max speed on this guy, uh, but you never know what could happen. I just want to look that up quick because I feel like on the low, Trevenant is like this speedy ass motherfucker who's got 56 speed, and Swampert and Mega actually gain speed. I thought that it lost speed for a moment there. So what I'm going to do here is just go for the Ice Punch again. Uh, he doesn't really have a safe switch in because anything he brings in, I can sort of just Earthquake. Earthquake destroys the Metagross, the Needle King, as well as the Arcanine. And I guess the only thing he can do is come up to the Arcanine, but I do have Waterfall and Earthquake for that. And I have Waterfall for the Florigus. Basically, Mega Swampert runs house on his team. So it's going to be definitely a very vital win check that I'm going to be needing. So, I know that you cannot learn Regenerator, because for the longest, I thought that Trevenant actually could learn Regenerator. I'm supposed not. It'd be kind of cool if he did, because it's a tree, and he constantly regenerate his roots and everything, replenish himself. That'd be kind of cool, but, you know. 
you know, that'd be kind of cool. So I'm just going to wait for my opponent to make a play here. He's got two options to go Leech Seed, to physically attack him with the Horn Leech, maybe Willow Me, predicting a switch. Um, I know I run max speed on the Swamper because it's a Rain Dance Sweeper Swamper, but I don't have Rain Dance on anybody. So what he's actually going to do is get out of here, probably going out to the Arcanine to Metagross, one of the two. Actually, he actually goes out to Lenova, which actually ends up being the Metagross. Now, I know Mega Metagross is not UU. That's obvious. F. So I'm not about to just, you know, that was a crit. That hit. <laughs> that did no damage. That did no damage. Now, I should go for the Earthquake, right? Or should I go out into my fortress? That is the real question. I'm going to go out to my fortress and not risk anything. This Metagross may just be defensive and he may just want to put up his rocks here expecting that switch because it may just be a little obvious. I don't know. Maybe he's got the fire punch. Who knows? We'll find out very shortly here. As he actually puts up the reflect. Catching me off guard. I'm shocked. I am shocked. A defensive Metagross. Okay. Well, I get free opportunity now to put up the rocks. And he's got no one that actually can get rid of it unless this Metagross can learn defog with his brain. So... Yeah, that was a good play. That was a really good play. That was a really good play. As he's actually going to withdraw, Needle King or Arcanine is probably going to be coming out. As he actually brings out Scrafty. Uh, judging by him putting up the Reflect and going out into his Scrafty, definitely, 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 he's got a, um, yeah, he's definitely, yeah. Yeah, I know what he is. He's definitely the sweeping Scrafty. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to Volt Switch on the Scrafty. He does D-Dance, but I don't want to put, uh more pressure onto him by actually hard switching i'd rather just get a little bit of chip damage off on it that way that i can come out to my florgus and kill it off with a moon blast because if he does decide to go out to his metagross i'm not really worried by anything by that so yeah all right i also do have a mean shot which if the reflect is gone can actually just kind of bop it so yeah, I wish it was Focus Sash. Unfortunately, it's Scarfed, and I may not be able to outspeed it. But I am putting a lot of pressure out onto him. He does have three resistances for Fairy, so he really likes Scrafty because he wants to sweep with this Scrafty. Now, he's got two options here. Stay in, reveal the Poison Jab, or swap out. If he swaps out, he doesn't have Poison Jab, and if he stays in, he does. I'm assuming he doesn't have Poison Jab, as he actually has Iron Head instead. Oh! Yep. That's it. <laughs> he reveals the Iron Head instead. As he gets a Moxie boost too, so... This is quite scary. This is actually quite scary. I'm gonna go out into my Mean Shell. I have to. I have to. I'm a, I do outspeed still. So I have to go out into Mean Shell here. Mean Shell, we're gonna high jump kick. We're gonna high jump kick and say fuck it if he does bring out that Ghost Mon. Even though I really want to go for it. <laughs> no, you can't mess around with the threat. No, you can't. You cannot. And if he does go out to the Trevenant, well, I have Regenerator. So it really won't bother me. And then he loses the Moxie and the Dragon Dance. So it would be uh, a risk on him if he goes to Trevenant. He's actually going to withdraw. And he does bring out Eden. Which was not the Trevenant. Actually ended up being this thing. So I know this Florgus will eat up this high jump kick. Um, probably should have gone out into my meat shell before I went on to the floor gist, not risking him to have poison jab. I assume poison jab was the only move that he had to kill a floor gist, but uh, turns out actually can learn. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is go out the floor gist here. Uh, if anything, he's probably just gonna try and wish pass to his uh, trevenant. So I gotta watch out for that. He may even toxic. So I gotta watch out for that, definitely. He's gonna go for the Moon Blast. Okay, that's good for me, because I now get a Gyro Ball off on something. They actually did a decent chunk. Ooh, Florgus, okay. So what I'm gonna do here, I should go for the Gyro Ball. I could go for Volt Switch, pushing off a lot of initiative, because why would a Florgus stay in on a Fortress? Which I actually should go for Volt Switch. I really should, and not be an idiot. I'm a Volt Switch. I'm very confident that I'm going to Volt Switch, because why would Florgus stay in against Fortress? Florgus can't do anything. I learned Gyro Ball at Stab. It's faster than me and relaxed as well. He is going to withdraw and go out to Vikina. I made a very good play here. Um, Volt Switching out here and going out now into my potential. 
Swamp Burn. Hopefully the Reflect goes away here. It's been like, I think, four turns now. So I really just want to get rid of it, to be honest. That floor, uh, what is it? The Metagross. I should have stayed in. I should have stayed in the Metagross because then that ended up costing me a lot of trouble. I'm just going to go out into the Big Fish. I'm going to go out to the Big Fish. I'm going to go out to the Big Guns here. The, it's still up. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to Earthquake. I'm um, really not too fearing anything. If e speed did that much damage though. How much damage would a close co a close combat one shot me? That's kind of scary. But is he really gonna stay in? That's the question. I don't think he's gonna stay in. If he does stay in and get off that close combat, I feel like this will knock me out. If it does not, he misses on it. He gets a minus defense. Yo, Swamper Manigado, bulky F, bop. It's stab, it's super effective, defense drop, fuck a reflect, get out of my mentions. Boop! There goes the Arcanine, very big threat out of the way, and the reflect also goes away now. Uh, my Swampert outspeeds everybody in his team except for the Nido King, so he's probably gonna bring out the Nido King, which he actually does right here, King George. Now, if Swampert can learn, uh, what is it, Aqua Jet, that actually make a lot of sense if Swampert could learn Aqua Jet. Unfortunately, he cannot, though. So, what I'ma do, I'ma go to my High Dragon. Earth power the lobby, yes. And if he goes for Sludge Wave, I also resist it, so. Let's go out to Hydreigon. Let's be cool. Let's be friends. Oh, he makes the phenomenal play and goes to the Ice Beam. Very good play. Very, very, very good play. I'm not going to lie. Making the obsolete play and going for the Ice Beam. Expecting the Hydreigon. Very good play to my opponent. Maybe that's a little obvious and I shouldn't have done that. But I assume that going at the floor gets a little obvious. Now, do I need this Hydreigon is the question. It would be nice to keep around. Draco hits a lot of stuff hard. And I don't know if he's scarfed or not. Looking at his team, it probably is. So what I'm actually going to do here is go to the... Oh, my Florgus is dead. Oh, whoops. Tee hee hee. <sighs> so what I actually want to do here is Okay, okay What we're going to do here quick is we're going to calc up Because my Raikou actually is Assault Vest Assault Vest against a Nido King uh, Ice Beam does 25 to 30 Hell yeah, we're going out into you Okay it Does 25 to 30 I'm going to eat it up mm, I eat it I don't think he's going to swap up his moves because I don't see him really being life orb. I think if he was life orb, probably would have one shot at me. So he does stay in for the same move. So yeah, he's definitely scarfed. Uh, looking at his team, he definitely was scarfed. Able to eat that up. Cool beans. Now, I could easily go for the Volt Switch here because I'm assuming that he's not, first off, for starters, scarfed. But then again, I have no reason to go for the Volt Switch and push off that much pressure. I would like to, but I'm just going to go for the Hidden Power Ice. I am. And I'm going to regret it when he brings out the Metagross on my uh, Raikou here. I'm going to regret it a lot. I am going to regret it a lot. I should have gone for the Volt Switch. I right now have this huge regret in my chest. I know that he's Scarf. I know that he is. I know that he is. It's confirmed looking at his team as well. He stayed in on the Hydreigon. Hydreigon could have potentially been scarfed, but Nidoking, I think, has a higher base speed, if I'm not mistaken. No, it doesn't, because the Dragon's got 98. He actually is going to withdraw. Yeah, I regret not going for the Volt Switch. I really wanted to put some pressure momentum on him. He's going to bring out the Eden, ending up being this thing. So, yeah, there goes my pressure, because he now gets a free wish off on somebody, unfortunately enough for me. So, yeah, I fucked up. <clears throat> I wanted to wish pass as well. Uh, out to some what I'm actually gonna do here is just actually go for the volt switch right here on this play and uh, Yeah, I guess I did kind of just confirm now that I am Assault vest. I'm gonna volt switch and go out to mega swampert if he takes it out That's cool because mega swampert actually can run house through his team again As I'm assuming he's gonna go for the wish and not actually attack me with the moon blast as he actually is just gonna attack with the moon blast Okay, that's actually a lot safer for me. It'd be really bad if he attacked me with that moon blast, so <clears throat> I don't think I have anybody to take out this Florgus, do I? I don't think that I I got a fortress, but that's not shit. And my Hydreigon is mixed, but superpower and U-turn won't do anything. It absolutely walls Hydreigon 1v1. And my Misha is an effort uh this this Misha actually has hidden power ice for some reason. It's a GBA Misha. And in the GBA League, we countered each other. So the best thing that I can do is bring out this guy right here. 
And the best thing he actually can do is go out to the Nido King. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna gyro ball. I want a Volt Switch, but the Nido King could easily come out. And I don't know what he's gonna lock himself into. I do not. And getting damage off on his Florgus is really nice, but no, I'm gonna Volt Switch. A Volt Switch, so he's gonna bring out the Metagross, right? And don't bring out the Nido King. Great Deku! Woo! I made the I made a good play. I made a good play, and I'm proud of myself for that. I am. I'm proud of myself for that. Good God Almighty. Alright, now what I'm gonna do here though now is I am gonna go out to my Hydreigon now. It's a really volt turning offensive team because if you think about it, but everybody's got Volt Switch or U-turn. Hydreigon and Misha have U-turn and uh, Raikou and uh, Fortress, they got Volt Switch. So what I'm gonna do here is I should go actually for the flamethrower. I should. And I just revealed that. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the flamethrower. Why not? I just want to kill this thing off, and he's not going to switch it out because rocks are up. Rocks are the only thing at this moment helping me out. If he does bring out Florgus, I just want to beat the crap out of Florgus, get as much damage as I uh, that I can off on it to the point uh, where high jump kick will knock it out. So, I'm in a pickle. I really am. So there goes the Trevenant. It's just his Nido King is very scary. That Nido King is actually scaring me. That's my problem. Is a Nido King. Nido King is so fucking fast, too, you know? I can handle it with my Meansha. Meansha can handle it, but he's got a Florigus. I now can freely high jump kick now, though, which is very good. And he's going to bring out Eden. Now, I did just tell you guys that I was going to go for the offensive move here. And flamethrower. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I want damage off on this thing really bad. Because it's so scary. And I haven't seen him go for the wish yet. So maybe he doesn't have it. I'm hoping that he doesn't. Oh, it's just his floor just kind of messes me up too. Because I don't have much to take it out besides my fortress. And I know he can't touch fortress too well. But he's got a Nido King. And he's got the Metagross. So I'm going to flamethrower. Hopefully I burn it here. That'd be really convenient if I could burn it here. That'd be nice actually if I could burn it. Can I get a burn? He's gonna wish, shit, man, shit, 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 shit. I'm in a big pickle. I wish I had Steel Wing. <laughs> I wish I had Steel Wing. I need Steel Wing. I'm putting Steel Wing on it after this. Okay, uh, he's gonna protect. Very obvious here. But why swap out, you know? Why? As he does protect, okay. At this point, as long as I get damage off on it, and as long as I burn it, forcing him to do go for the aromatherapy, that's the only thing that I can do here. Because Florgus is such an annoying mod. I had Swampert to kind of handle it, but Swampert went down real quick. As I now realize, Swampert needs that rain. Swampert's fast. He's, like, decently fast. 70 speed. But he could be faster. He's probably going to wish again, but I'm trying to get a burn or a crit or something. So if I could get that. Moonblast. He's going to take me out. Okay. Ooh, okay. Well, there goes my Hydreigon, all right. Oh, boy. Oh, great God Almighty. So I guess what I can do here now, I have like a few mons left. I guess I can just go out into Fortress, yeah. I don't know how much Gyro does to a Nido King. Gyro actually messes it up. Gyro actually messes it up because I'm relaxed and the new King is scarfed. I want to look that up quick, and the item for Nido King is Choice Scarf. Yeah, Jared does 42 to 50. Oh my god. Yeah, he's not bringing that out. No, he's not. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Thing is, though, is I want to Volt Switch again because I know that the Metagross is easily going to come out here. Um. Yeah, that's Volt Switch again. I've constantly Volt Switched on it. He's gonna withdraw, okay. Is he gonna go out to the Nido King or not? Nah? Oh, he did! Oh, I should've gyroed! Oh, boy. He's actually very free to go for the Earth Power. I don't think he's gonna Flamethrower. He's actually very free to go for the Earth Power. The thing is, though, I kinda needed this thing. And I could've gotten a lot of pressure off on it. So I'm gonna stay in. He's gonna Earth Power. I know that I can live one. Uh, from this range, so yep, there it is. There's the gyro, cool stuff. Gyro should be doing decent chunk. There it is. See, I should have gone for the gyro previously because then this Nino King would have been dead. That's exactly why I went for the voltage because Metagross, but 
No, I shouldn't have worried about the metagross because I have a, um... I shouldn't have worried about the metagross, no. But it's fine now because the Needle King is actually dead. What sucks is that my fortress had to go down. I still have a chance of bringing this match back, but the fortress is down. The fortress is down. So what I should have done is gone out into my... I would, no, if I wanted to Raikou, that wouldn't make any sense, no. It's fine. I'm just gonna hide Jump Kick. If I miss, that sucks. Hopefully I don't. He's gonna withdraw and keep this bitch around. Uh, he's gonna actually go out here into Eden. Now, if I get an ultimate crit, that'd be nice F. Yo, he's got a chance to win this match. He's got a huge chance to win this match. So, ooh! All right, he's gonna protect. I know that he is, but I have to stay in. I have to. I do, and I'm locked in. I'm real as hell. Let's do it again. He's not gonna go protect. I'm gonna do it again. He's gonna protect. All right, that's cool. It's fine because I have regenerator, so I'm really not too worried about it. Maybe I should have. I should have. What I should have done is I should have gone out to the the Raikou here uh, and take it out. So I should have done that. I'm gonna go for high jump kick again. And if he double protects, it's unfortunate. If he lands it and it makes it go through, that's mad unfortunate. I can't risk that. I have to risk it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Because I want to go out into Raikou so bad. But he's going to get a lot of lefty recoveries to where my Thunderbolt won't kill it. It'll get a wish off. And then this thing will be going all the way back up to full HP again. So there's my jump kick. There's the dead Florgus. All right. My mean shot wins me the game. I think I just won. I think I just won. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I just won. <sighs> it, no, the Metagross is kind of a problem as well. I have to watch out. For, I have Shadow Ball on my Raikou, though, so it's fine. He's probably going to Bullet Punch my... This guy. Or no, he may go out to the Metagross. It'll be a really good play. Hopefully he doesn't do it. Is going out into the Metagross. Putting up the Reflect, assuming that I'm going to swap... Oh my god. And then Scrafty doing work. Yo. All right, what I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to go out. I get out of here, get this regenerator off, and uh, go out into my Raikou. Literally, his win check is the Scrafty, but apparently he's got another Ma, which actually ends up being the Nido King. But it's fine because my Mean Shao can handle it in one shot. It's half dead. Um, so I'm going to go out to Raikou here. Hopefully, he doesn't go for like the Earthquake or anything like that, or the Meteor Mash, or just non offensive moves would be great here. I think you just go for the Zen Head, but I miss. Thank you, God. You're on my side today. What I'm going to do here is go for the Shadow Ball. Uh, it'll do a lot of damage, and that's cool stuff. You could go out to the Needle King Sacket and get a switch out into the Scrafty and get a ton of, uh, get a D, a D Dance off, Dream Punch my Raikou, and then put me in a pickle, and then come out into the Metagross and win the game like that. But is he gonna do that? He's probably not. He's pro Yo, this is a real close match, though. Ooh, like I'm talking about so close, it's got me sitting up out of my chair. Ooh, if I lose it, hell, this still goes up. This is a good ass match. If he stays in, so I guess he didn't sack off his Needle King. That would have been really good had he have done that. I was like, he's going to put up the light screen. That's fine, because if Shadow Ball did that much, I'm assuming Shadow Ball should kill again, so it's fine. I want to T-Bolt so bad here. I do. I really do. I really, 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 really do. As I'm going to T-Bolt here. I'm going to T-Bolt here. He's going to Bullet Punch. Okay. Me, probably T-Bolting may have been bad, but hey, YOLO. You know what? YOLO, yeah. So there's a T-Bolt. He's going to live. All right. Now we're going to swap it up and go for the Shadow Ball. Just in case if he goes out into the Needle King, light screen is up. He could go out into Needle King. Actually, the Needle King may live the Shadow Ball, actually, which could be bad because Raikou actually can put a dent into the what is it, the Scrafty before he actually starts setting up. So this is Shadow Ball. I probably should have done that just to kind of save us some damage, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter at all. It does not matter at all. So there goes the Metagross. Putting up the light screen is a better play. Um. It was a lot better play. If he goes to the Scrafty, I'd be a lot happier if he actually does go out to Scrafty. Or no, I would not be happier. No. He's going to go out to King George. Okay. What I'm actually going to do, he does, not, he does not have the Reflect up, so I think I may have just won this game. I'm going to go over the HP Ice just in case if I outspeed for some god reason, but he's Scarfed, so I won't. As uh, there goes my, Nita, my Raikou. Now, I need to land every single high jump kick in order to win this game. Mean Shao, I love you a lot. I really love you a lot, Mean Shao. I love you a lot. You've come through into this match. So, Mean Shao, 
She coming through. She sucking dick. Mean Shao killed this King George. Ah! What? Oh my god! Oh no! Oh, that was so big, I could have won the game. Oh. Yo. Yo, Mean Shao, you get it released. Your ass is getting released after this match. No. Uh uh. Uh uh. Mean Shao, you get released because we could have won that game. We could have won that game. But Mean Shao's going to get released. Oh my God. Oh God. Yo, I need a shower after that. That's going to be it, though, guys. Give the video a thumbs up. Let's try and smash 500 likes. Answer the question of the day. I'm a shower. I'm a shower.